There is stunning new video just out. It was shot by the U.S. Navy off the coast of San Diego. It clearly shows an unidentified flying object descending from the sky, hovering, and then disappearing without a trace into the Pacific Ocean. If you've dismissed UFOs as imaginary or ridiculous, and many have, you're going to want to see this tape. We'll show it to you in just a moment. Footage came out this afternoon, footage of an unidentified flying object, literally unidentified, captured by a U.S. naval vessel, these images were, off the coast of San Diego. Familiar with footage in the possession of the U.S. military who have said there is tape out there of unidentified flying objects descending from the sky and then disappearing into the ocean. Well, today, that video emerged. The Pentagon has just confirmed that the footage is real. You're seeing it now on your screen. It was taken by the Combat Information Center on board the USS Omaha on July 15, 2019, off the coast of San Diego. As far as we know, the UFO in question was never recovered. There was no material indicating a crash. More than that, we don't know. Tom Rogan is a Washington Examiner columnist, well-versed in the subject. He joins us tonight. Tom, what do you think we're looking at here? Uh, well, I think we may well be looking at a, a true unknown, which is to say uh, intelligently controlled uh, machinery uh, that is uh, not understood to be in the possession of the United States, China or Russia, uh, which are the most three most advanced uh, countries in terms of um, military uh, aviation. And, and so, you know, the video in and of itself is is limiting what it can tell us, but I think it speaks to uh, as the Pentagon itself has admitted, uh, this continuing uh, trend of, of truly unexplained things um, coming into the public consciousness more than they have before. If you listen to this with the sound up, you can hear the guys who are monitoring this video in real right. time gasp when it seems to disappear beneath the wave. So this kind of takes the weather balloon off the table or some meteorological phenomenon off the table. I mean, Clearly, we're looking at something that is, as you just put it, being intelligently controlled, and it's going underneath the ocean and then disappearing. I mean, you're, we're sure that this could not be a foreign nation in control. Yeah, I, I, that is the, uh, yes, and that, that is why you see um, people like Senator Rubio leaning into the subject, uh, the military, Office of Naval Intelligence, which really leads the military effort researching this. Um, there isn't anything that we have top secret information uh, about what China or Russia have or what we have at Area 51 uh, that can do what these things do in terms of the variable performance. And I think specifically relevant to this video uh, in the coming months and, and years, an area which we will learn more about uh, is the interaction of U.S. Navy submarines, nuclear uh, ballistic missile submarines and attack submarines um, picking up sonar contact of things moving um, at hundreds of knots under the water. Um, and so there is a undersea dimension to this uh, that the Navy has sort of pushed off to the side as the pilots uh, talk more about their experiences. So, so there's a lot more to come out, I think, is, is the best way to put it. Hundreds of knots underwater. I mean, I think all of us can imagine objects moving at incredible speeds in the air, maybe even approaching right you know, the speed of light, potentially, but hundreds of knots underwater, I don't think most people can even digest that. And that's been recorded? Uh, that, that's what I've heard from sources, uh, very good sources, and that the Navy has the data. And one of the big things, Tucker, that I think as we move towards this um, Director of National Intelligence report, uh, and I do know that the various agencies are actually taking that more seriously than people might expect, uh, as is DNI, um, one of the things we're going to find is that over a period of decades, a lot of the data, uh, a lot of the, the measurement of these things um, has been put off as technical aberration uh, or essentially yeah. a data malfunction because they didn't want to really admit that something very serious and special is going on. I mean, some of this behavior challenges our understanding of physics, so I, I think this is going to, it's going to change a lot of perceptions. Tom, I appreciate it. Hope, I hope we'll see you again soon.